Start recording. Okay. <clears throat> Take two. What's up, guys? Uh, S-Fan here. I'm doing a video. I'm here in STV in a little bit higher level area, a little bit north of Gurubashi Arena. And I'm running around with a fishing pole. As you can see, I'm running around with a big iron fishing pole. And the reason why I'm running around with a fishing pole is because uh, it seems like somebody over at the Classic Lost subreddit, uh, this was... This was Redrark. Uh, Redrark found out about, uh, I mean, found out or whatever he tested, and he was swinging his big iron fishing pole. He was swinging his fishing pole on higher level mobs, and he found out that it was actually factoring in his fishing skill uh, instead of his weapon skill, right? Because fishing poles don't have, they're, they're, they're not really a weapon type, right? It, it is a weapon type, but the weapon type, I guess, uses fishing instead of like two handed maces or something like that for example um so it's like okay cool who cares what does this mean well what this means is that you can attack higher level mobs and it takes your weapon skill into account for that level so at level 30 where we're capped at in the beta uh we have 150 weapon skill 155 for two-handed maces if you're human right two-handed maces and swords you have five bonus so uh, two-handed and one-handed, actually. But yeah, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's what uh, that's what's going on here. And if you guys saw, uh, Asmongold and I uh, did a SM Armory. We've done an SM Cathedral with five level 30s. And that went uh, very well. But I did like no damage. So I basically like relegated myself into more of a support role. Uh, Auto-attacking, basically being a buff bot and off-healing and, and basically... Uh, being kind of like lay on hands in the clutch bop or something like that to kind of be the support role in the group. Um, what we've been thinking about doing is I was like, okay, let's actually like test this out and see if this works. So I've been spending the last couple of days leveling up my fishing and I've got it to 175 at this point. My pole has plus 20 and then I can also put a bobble on it uh, to give it plus 75, right? Or even I can use the aqua dynamic, whatever meme for a bonus 100 skill if I want to. Um, effectively, this puts my skill at uh, well over the level of mobs that we're fighting. What does this mean? This means that if this works properly, if this works properly, then uh, I'll be able to DPS and actually like attack the mob and do a little bit more decent damage uh, if we try to attempt a Razor Fen Downs or an Older Man, which is kind of what we have... Uh, on the table right now. That's kind of what we're looking at doing. Hopefully to be able to do RFD or older man uh, with all level 30s, which is going to be insanely difficult. I don't even know if we're going to be able to pull it off, but uh, we would like to attempt it, right? So we're looking to like min max every little thing that we possibly can. And it seems as if this is actually going to work. So for example, I'm going to go in with my rock pulverizer right now. Two handed maces, 155. My rock pulverizer does more weapon, more, more, Character screen, info screen, weapon damage, right? Top end weapon damage is 232, for example. Uh, if I go and I fight this level 38 Stranglethorn Tigress, I have Blessing of Might, parry, nice. Uh, I'm not really gonna do very much damage. Seven physical damage, six physical damage, right? This does, I mean, 249 with Might on, right? It should be way higher. But if I switch to the fishing pole, okay? I'm going to go, I'm going to judge light on this for a little bit bonus damage. Uh, parry, parry, nice. That's really good. Can I stun this guy? 77. 77 with the first wing. 81, right? So I'm actually doing way more damage with the fishing pole than I am with the rock pulverizer, with my, with my actual two-handed mace. So, okay. Uh, interesting. That's awesome, right? Now, here's the thing specifically to paladins, why this makes it really good. The reason why this is so good, specifically for paladins, is because fishing poles, they don't let you use attacks, if, I, if I'm correct. They don't let you use actual attacks, like uh, you can't use a, not that you have it at this level, but I'm gonna die, frick, okay. Not that you have it at this level, but if you have like a mortal strike or something like that, you can't use a fishing pole. Uh, for any like instant attack or any, any sort of strike like that. Now, because Paladins don't have any strikes and all their damage is based off of procs and whatnot, uh, off of their auto attacking, their entire class is based around the auto attacks, it doesn't actually make a difference for me. So now I'm doing way more damage uh, than I should be doing 
against a mob of this level because I'm carrying around a weapon that does over a hundred less damage. Uh, I mean, about a hundred less damage, I should say, if I put might back on myself. It does about a hundred less damage than my two-handed weapon. Uh, and here I am soloing like a level 38 mob at level 30 as a paladin, which is kind of crazy. Um, if I, I like to judge light and use light. The reason for this is, you know, I could maybe use Crusader and get more DPS out of it. I don't like Crusader because he still parries a lot. So if he parries, he gets parry haste and does more damage against me and it's so high level. But yeah, if I had tried that with my normal two-handed weapon, I wouldn't have had a chance in hell to, to kill that level 38 mob. So yeah, pretty cool. Something pretty interesting to find out. Uh, I just wanted to record this real quick during my stream because I've been spending like hours and hours every day fishing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to throw this up on YouTube. So if you guys want to check out my streams, twitch.tv slash svantv, twitter.com slash svantv, Instagram svantv, Discord GG, get involved in the community, Discord svantv, everything is svantv. So guys, if you like this kind of content, if you want to see more classic WoW content, uh, make sure you sub to my YouTube channel, like the video, leave a comment, all that stuff actually does help me out. Um, yeah, even though it's like a total meme, it actually does help me out a lot. So guys, thank you so much. And... I'll see you guys later.